This video will provide you with a basic demonstration of how to use the MIR WinSpiro Pro spirometry software connected to any MIR spirometer. WinSpiro Pro is a comprehensive and powerful Windows-based software program. WinSpiro Pro provides you with a database of all your patient's spirometry results in patient trend charts, allowing you to follow the success of your patient's treatment plan. The first thing you will need to do is install the WinSpiro Pro on your computer with the enclosed CD. In case the CD reader is not available, you can use the QR code on the info sheet included in the standard device packaging. Once opened, the program will ask you to register. Follow the steps as illustrated and you will be able to register your software for use. WinSpiro Pro comes with five licenses, so it can be loaded on five computers. Additional licenses are available if required. WinSpiro Pro also comes with lifetime upgrades at no charge, so you will always be running the latest version of WinSpiro Pro. A network version is available upon request. Once registered, you will be sent by email your personal activation number, which will need to be entered to finalize the registration process. WinSpiro Pro is fully customizable, so you define how you want your device to provide the data and how you want your reports to appear. WinSpiro Pro also includes a pediatric incentive that will help your patients to provide better results. This incentive has an age range from 3 to 99 years old. And this allows you to use it with all of your patients, regardless of age, to help you get good results. Now open WinSpiro Pro on your computer. When you open the software for the first time, a window appears, and it will allow you to select your operational language, regional settings, either centimeters or kilograms, or inches and pounds, communication port for the way you are connecting to WinSpiro Pro. We will be using a USB connection. Predicted value. Turbine in use. In our video, we will use the disposable turbine and toolbar preferences. The default setting, spirometry standard layout should not be changed. This is a good time to install a new flow mirror into the spirometer and demonstrate to the patient what will be expected of them during the test. With the spirometer turned off and WinSpiro Pro closed, connect your MIR spirometer to WinSpiro Pro using the USB cable included with your device. The device will automatically power up and you will hear a beep. All MIR spirometers connect the same way and function the same way with WinSpiro Pro. On spirometers with the screen, you will hear a beep and then see external control displayed on the screen. From the top row, select the Configurations tab, then select Options. Now select the Communications tab and click Test USB. This will send a quick test to identify if the software is communicating with the device and the screen will tell you what device and serial number you are connected with. To begin testing, you need to either enter a new patient or select one from the database. To enter a new patient, click the patient icon in the upper left side of the screen. Select New. Fill in all information in the fields marked with a red asterisk on the left side of the window. You may enter additional information on your patient on the right side of the window if you choose. Next, click Save. This will bring you to a visit card. Here you will enter the patient's height in inches and weight in pounds and click OK. Again, you may have additional information about the patient in the fields on the window. Once done, click Save. If you are testing a patient already in the database, you can select the patient by either clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the patient by name, or clicking the letter that corresponds to the patient's last name from the blue alphabet, clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the patient from the list. MIR has included a sample patient named David Martini for demonstration purposes. No real testing can be made with this patient, and this patient cannot be deleted from the database. You will then click the Visit icon and update any information that is needed and click Save.
In the white box next to patient, you will see the name of the patient you just entered. You are now ready to test. For this video, we will be doing the FVC test. Have the patient put the mouthpiece in their mouth and click the FVC. Click Start, having the patient breathe normally. Then have them take their deep breath and do the expiratory and inspiratory maneuvers. At the end of the test, click Enter on the keyboard to accept the test and to be brought to the results screen. To do another effort, simply click the FVC icon and do the test. When you have completed all of your efforts and are back at the results screen, you will see the results of all these efforts. To print the results, simply click the print icon and the customer report will appear on the screen. Below the patient icon, you will now see two small icons that allow you to either export the report via a variety of ways or to print a hard copy of the report. To export the report, click the export icon on the left. This will bring you to the export screen where you can select the file type you want to use from the top drop-down list and where you want to store the file. We will be saving the file as a PDF file which can be imported directly into your electronic health record program. Click OK. This will take you to the export options screen which allows you to export the entire report or specific pages of the report. Click OK and you will be taken to the file manager which will allow you to name the file and select its location. To print, just click the print icon on the right and follow the on-screen directions. You have now completed doing a spirometry test using any MIR device and the WinSpiro Pro software.